Love, justice, is only possible with the movement of my father. The choice to move with him as he shows you what he sees. And when he does, you will know what to do, how to act, even if you feel unsure how initially to do it. For certainty comes only from faith in the Father, faith in his love, love that directs you and does not disappoint you. Holy Spirit in Modern Life, this is what we heard for you. Open your eyes. Let me show you what I see. Do not be overwhelmed by poverty. Do not be overwhelmed by hardships, trials, evil, disease. I do not get overwhelmed. I do not feel fear. I act, but I act from a place of abundance the abundance of my Father's love, a love that does not tire or diminish, a love that can be quiet and loud, gentle but not unsure. It is a love with confidence, a love with action, a love with compassion and not guilt, with fullness and not depletion. I require nothing of you and everything from you to love in my Father's name. Love, justice, is only possible with the movement of my Father. The choice to move with him as he shows you what he sees. And when he does, you will know what to do, how to act, even if you feel unsure how initially to do it. For certainty comes only from faith in the Father, faith in His love, love that directs you and does not disappoint you. So ask for open eyes, His eyes to see. Ask for an open heart, a heart that loves like the Father. Expect direction, and courage to act on this injustice you see and receive faith to respond and then love with the Father's love in you. This is how you are made to love, to act in love, confident that you are not alone and the true love of God fuels you and equips you to do all things in love in my name. So the first step When you wonder what to do, remember this. It is a lie that security does not mean risk. Risk everything and you will be secure in my name. Trust me, not yourself. No, I go with you. I do not leave your side. When we begin following Jesus, he shapes for us new hearts, just as God promised for Israel. In the book of Ezekiel, God says, I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. These new hearts are softer. They move more like God's heart. They are not, however, all shaped alike they still reflect our God-created and God-anointed individuality. Notice that when you view tough situations, sometimes your heart is moved deeply. Notice also, sometimes it isn't. In Ephesians chapter 2, the Apostle Paul wrote, We have become a recreated people that will fulfill the destiny he has given each of us, for we are joined to Jesus, the Anointed One. Even before we were born, God planned in advance our destiny and the good works we would do to fulfill it. We are all created for good works. But as individuals, we aren't created for every work. We couldn't possibly be. We are all called to help those in need. But as individuals, we aren't called to every need. Near his death, 
St. Francis of Assisi prayed for his fellow friars, quote, I have done what is mine to do. May Christ teach you what is yours, unquote. The movements of our new hearts are one way God teaches us what is ours. For our new hearts are made and empowered by him to notice, to care, to move more for certain people and certain needs. And when their needs are met, our hearts are satisfied. And when they aren't, our hearts hurt with their hearts. So we must begin to observe and listen to the movements of our hearts, how they feel, how they break, what they break for. Take a moment to consider the new heart Jesus has given to you. Can you identify the particular people and particular needs for which it moves, personally, uniquely? When we become aware of how our new hearts are made to move, and when we actually begin working ourselves to meet the needs of the people who are ours to help, we increase not only their peace and joy, but ours too. This has been Rush by Justin and Jennifer Camp. Music by Igor Khabarov. Production by Frank Montenegro. If you want to connect with us, you can do so right now over at rushpodcast.com. Or you can send us a direct message on Instagram at Rush Podcast. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear about your experience listening to this episode. And we'd love to encourage you on.